Hello. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm doing a sort of new setup for the get ready with me's. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. This is kind of just a trial run, but I just wanted to see how this worked in practice, not just kind of in theory. So this is um, filming from my vanity right now. So we're gonna see how this works. I'm trying to like look um, to see, but honestly, this is kind of tricky. So we're just gonna make it work. I kind of have a couple of things I wanted to talk about. So this kind of, I think is gonna be a good setup. I don't know if this will become an every time setup just because it is, um, difficult but this is definitely more of a film or not filming get ready with me setup I feel like I don't know what the hell is going on with me <clears throat> so some of you who maybe know me in person or maybe know me just like um generally I don't know or have seen my channel I don't know how much I've talked about it I've wanted to talk about it more, but I am very genuinely tech obsessed. And I tend to, particularly where phones are concerned, not so much, you know, tablets or anything. I love, I have a tablet. I have the um, iPad Pro 12.9 inch and I love it. And it's been great, especially like since I had a, what do they call it? I had a tablet at one point that kind of my pen exploded. So that was useless. Um, so the iPad pro is kind of like a nice replacement. It does a lot of things that I need it to. The hell is vibrating. It does a lot of the things I need it to, but you know, as a, from a graphic design perspective, it's not quite what I would like for it to be. So, I mean, that's kind of a disappointment. So I got this sample of Photo Finish Primer in just the regular clear color. Um, I don't know when I got this, probably with one of my Sephora orders at some point. I also have the MAC Prep and Prime, but I really tend to like the Smashbox Primer from what I've used, so I'm just gonna stick with that. I think I've used the MAC Primer once, and I didn't dislike it, it just wasn't it's not the same. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very technology obsessed, particularly with phones. And I tend to follow a lot of rumors about phones and like technology blogs and stuff like that. And so, you know, I knew what the latest one plus phone was going to look like pretty far in advance of it coming out and if you don't know one plus it's an indie brand um kind of a it's a very very small phone brand but it's who i have for my general phone and i absolutely love it if you you know it's an android phone so some people are going to be like you know feeling some type of way about that i guess but you know, I, I absolutely love it. And I've never had a phone that I loved quite this much. It's so fun. Um, but I, I have seen a lot of stuff about the new iPhone 8. And I have to say, from a perspective of someone who has used iPhones for many, many years, I'm not super impressed. I mean, I'm happy that they're going for the bezel-less look that everyone is going for since the Galaxy S8, but I wouldn't say that I'm like thrilled about it overall. Like it's not very impressive to me and I was going to do a, I filmed, I don't know if I'm ever going to edit and put up a um, not going to buy or a, a anti-haul video that featured the OnePlus 8 or not OnePlus 8, the iPhone 8. But the funny thing is for me is like to say that I'm not gonna buy it is kind of a lie because even though I'm not impressed with it, to my mind, it seems like 
you know, buying it through AT&T, buying it over time on account and all that seems like it'd be cheaper than actually investing the money on like a real camera as it were, because that's definitely an upfront cost that I don't want to spend the money on currently. So, I mean, I film on my iPhone 7 and it's great. I really can't imagine why the 8 wouldn't be better. And so there's a very, very good chance that I will upgrade to the 8 just for the um, camera factor. And there's rumors that I've heard, and I hope they're true, that you will be able to film 4K video in the front-facing camera. Now, as I understand it, uh, the current front-facing camera films 1080p. Oh, I guess I don't have my text tone turned off. Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Um, so there's a rumor that the new one can shoot in 4K on the front-facing camera, and I'm excited about that because technically I shoot in 1080p, 60 frames a second, blah, 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 blah. Which means next to nothing if you know very, if you know very little about filming, it means next to nothing. And even knowing as little, little as I do, it still means next to nothing. But from what I have been told, um, it just films nicer and so hello Salem I have a manual camera app um, on my phone but it's it takes a kind of a learning curve I have to figure out how I want to film it it could be easier if I had like a um, cameraman that'd be super God, cute all these like big YouTubers got their cameramans and I'm like, that's what I need. Cameraman, so I don't have to try and figure this shit out. Cause this is, see what people don't realize about filming for YouTube is that doing like really, really nice shit is fucking hard because it's a lot to learn. And if you know nothing about cameras which I went to school for graphic design so I know nothing about cameras because we weren't taught that shit we were I took a very basic photography 101 class it was not a requirement that I understood you know anything to do with filming on these cameras I knew how to take pictures but that was I honestly don't remember how long ago or what camera they were on back at that point. Because it was, I, I graduated in 2014 from college. So it's not like it was like super long ago, but it was long enough ago that I don't have a huge recollection of what I learned in those classes. So that doesn't help me. But it's just funny because this, you know, it's so, so important when you're a YouTuber to be able to basically do it all. You know, you have to be a graphic designer, you have to be a filmmaker, you have to be a film editor, sound mixer, just a little bit of everything. And that's kind of cool in a way, and it's taught me a lot of things that I wouldn't have known otherwise. But it's also a pain in the ass because I don't know a lot of this shit. You know, I know the graphic design aspect because I went to school for it. You know, I know, I know a, a little bit of web design. I know very, very little web design. Not that that's hugely important, but I do know that a little bit. But like you have to learn branding and marketing, which that was kind of one of my specialties, I thought, in college. So that I do know a little bit more. Oh, I almost forgot powder. What the gay hell? It's like I put, I get a new setup and suddenly I don't remember how to put on makeup. I don't know what the fuck is happening to me here today. Here on this day. It's like my brain is like, mm, no, I'm good. 
finally out of vanity able to see what the fuck I'm doing and I'm like, what's going on? Like I got no fucking sense. But um so yeah, I'm I'm very technology obsessed. I'm very hopeful about the iPhone 8 as far as filming. Um and I'm sure there's gonna I'm sure there could be, theoretically, if I got like comments like this people who are like, oh, how can you be, how can you love Android and use an iPhone or vice versa? And the truth is, I like both. It's not a, it's not a one or done for me. You know, I'm the same way about Lady Gaga and Madonna. I love them both for different reasons. You know, like, uh, I don't know. I don't like having to choose between two things that I appreciate. I don't think that should be something that we have to do. I'm not entirely certain what palette I'm going to use today. I kind of, maybe I'm going to be using my Peppermint Mocha Too Faced Christmas Collection palette because I really haven't used that that much. It's got a lot of really pretty colors in here. So I'm going to see how this works because honestly, when I, oh God, my voice cracked a bit. Honestly, when I did this, um, when I film like a practice video for this, I didn't have my camera quite where it is right now. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see um, if I can still see enough of the mirror to do my eyes. And actually, I didn't even practice putting on my eyes. So this is going to be a first. Um, because doing this when you have shitty vision is always a treat. Oh, maybe I'll, I may have to use my naked illuminating trio mirror just because it's a little bit um more compact and I can get it closer um this is by the way it's uh fuck what the fuck am I trying to say um one of my friends was asking what is this box that I kept putting on my face and I was becoming hella glow um and that is ooh, let's try and minimize the mirror that is this the Illuminating Trio. Um, I got this around the same time I got the Christmas collection from Too Faced. I also got a, what else did I get with that? I think I got a lipstick collection from Urban Decay. It's like a lipstick palette. I've never seen that before. I didn't really care for it. So naturally I never used it because I'm that type of person just buy shit and never use it. Oh boy, this is... So this is from Christmas... Oh. Guys, what the fuck? It's like being a new YouTuber all over again right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on with me. So I have this sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion that I used maybe in one or two videos and I was gonna use it again today and then... And then, of course, I completely forgot. I should put this on a brush so I don't have to put it directly onto my eyeball with my nail, but that's no fun. Where is my brush? So I bought a new thing of Sephora brand brushes um, from Sephora, obviously, online. So they will be getting to me hopefully sometime soon. I just got the shipping notification. Um, I also bought... Something from, oh, I bought Shape Tape finally from Ulta. So I'm very, very excited about that because everyone talks about the almighty Shape Tape. So hopefully that lives up to its promise because, I mean, 24 isn't that expensive, but it's also not cheap. I'm going to use this that I've used as a lip brush. I'm just going to use this to paint on my um, primer potion. This is a... Royal and Langnickel 237S brush that I bought from Michaels at some point. So not exactly what I would call like a makeup brush necessarily, but I've heard from some beauty people that you can use non-makeup brushes for makeup application. So uh, yeah, I used it as a lip brush at one point because I didn't have one. Um, I didn't really like it for that purpose because I don't like any kind of lip that I have to 
use a lip brush for because I'm that person. So I realize this is a little bit tardy, but hopefully it will be able to do the job. Um, normally I don't put anything down for an eyeshadow base, by the way, in case anyone was curious. I don't normally put anything down because I'm lazy and I forget things. <laughs> That's not really a good reason, but that is the truth. Um, boy, this is going on streaky right now. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, it's turning my eye pink, so I'm like, it's not covering. Because I've got pink on this. It's actually a really pretty color. I will give it that. Is that <laughs> with this on, it's now a very pretty interesting color. Um... So I'm excited about the eyeshadow brushes because I think that was entirely necessary. I wanted to get a little more diversity in my brush palette. Um, I currently literally only have two and they both came in a naked palette. So I, I don't really see that as being particularly prepared to do any kind of eyeshadow look, to be honest. So... Speaking of technology, um, wait, where did that brush I was just using go? Oh, it's up here. I was like, where did the brush? I still have to use these brushes for the time being. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm using, this is from the Naked 2 palette. I am using this brush right here. It's, I guess a, I don't know what the fuck you'd call this. And I'm using the color Sprinkles from the Peppermint Mocha palette from the Too Faced Christmas collection. So I have a feeling this is not gonna turn out super great because um, this is an old palette, it's from November. Although I don't think it should be bad this early. It's only August, but who knows. Um, I've actually, I, I, I've fallen quite in love with Too Faced palettes, I have to say. I know some people are not a fan. Um, I'm very much a fan of Too Faced. Too Paced. Too Paced. I'm very much a fan of Too Faced um, eyeshadow palettes. But then I'm also the person who is of the impression that Urban Decay palettes might be overrated as I use a palette, Urban Decay palette. And as I likely continue to buy Urban Decay products, because let's be honest, I want the naked heat palette and I'm sure it's completely overrated but here I am possibly wanting to buy that so yeah I like I actually I, I wouldn't have guessed but I actually do like a like pinky color on me this very much makes eyeshadow very strange to apply because it's very like less powdery and now it's very like gloopy gloopy that's the word that's the word <laughs> long 
few days. I've had a lot of, like Thursday was really shitty to me. Not Thursday, what the fuck, Sunday. What the fuck day do I think this is? That's a lot of cat hair though. It's because I got a lot of cats too. I'm obsessed. I, you know what's funny is when I first got this palette, I didn't like it. Or like I liked it when I swatched it in the store and then I got it home and I'm like, God, this fucking sucks. And it was funny because I was, this was way before I made YouTube and I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube video about how bad this sucks. And then I don't know what happened, but at some point I ended up loving it. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like witchcraft. And I've used like almost all of this like middle color. This is such a good like middle highlight. It's called Oasis, by the way. So the, um, what the f can't read this. So I think this gold one is called Pyrite. This one's called Oasis and this one is called Twilight. Go figure. My makeup is done. This is the full look. God, I hope the ring light does not clash too much with my glasses. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of videos where I'm not fucking wearing glasses because I don't got time for it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this. I wish I could say I could call it a video, but I don't feel like that deserves this title. This deserves that title. And until next time, bye.